Good morning, trusted followers. It's a new day. <laughs> Let's start. First of all, today, I will give you a house tour from my uh, from my new place in Samui. And I've been here for two days now. Uh, I came Tuesday and I was really, really tired. So I slept for 13 hours straight and nothing else happened actually. I opened my suitcases and that was it. Um, yesterday was a bit of relaxing and I went to a lunch, a charity lunch with some friends. And that's always nice. That's a good start of the holiday. So, uh, let me show you my a part of my daily routine and also a house tour. Let's go. Um, by the way, I have a new selfie stick and mm, be patient with me. Okay. So as you can see, this is my bed. Yeah. This is a really, really nice bed and I also have great pillows and a proper duvet. Like I want, I need, this is what I need. Some people sleep with the blanket or a towel or something <coughs> a, a bit thicker blanket but for me it has to be a duvet okay so let's start in the bathroom da, da, da. so this is the bathroom I will take you in to the bathtub and I really really love that there's a bathtub I do I, no matter where I am or <laughs> what I do and whatever in the world I love the bathtub that's oh, that gives the extra star and it's a shower it's it's kind of normal, I think. And some of the stuff that's here, the soap, that's already here. And the other things is my my favorites. I always buy this shampoo when I come to Samui or Thailand. And I bring my conditioner and some face scrub and so on. Okay, that's the toilet. Toilet and, and the bathtub. And so... This will be, can I do like this? No. Can I do like this? Yes. <laughs> so I'm amateur and I'm happy with that. Here you can see we have some, this is my stuff. And I also brought a candle. I find it very, very nice to have a candle. The Bouluspa, crisp champagne. And it smells so luxurious. These things was here from before, and this one's here. My toiletries, <coughs> and there's towels in different sizes, and always also a face cloth. It's really, really nice. And there's a hairdresser, or a hairdresser, no, um, blower. Yeah, <coughs> pardon, my, pardon my language. Okay, so while we are here, I'm gonna do a little bit of my morning routine before I go out to the in the sun. You can see I'm <coughs> I'm wearing white on white on white on white <laughs> now because it's my second day here, so there was no time for the sun really. Now I'm gonna put on my favorite sunscreen cream and this because I also have a rush. I get a rush if I don't use this cream. I will not show the, the brand because as I'm not as famous enough yet, they are not they are not a sponsor or anything. So I will keep it a secret until I get famous. That was a smart thing, you yeah? know. 
Anyways, it's a good idea. It's a very good idea to put on the sunscreen early in the morning. Normally, I do it when I wake up and I go to the toilet because then it, uh, the cream will absorb to the skin and it makes a better protection if you leave it on for a couple of hours before you go out in the sun. But this morning I I had a swim. I just had my, my coffee and I had a swim in the pool outside and then I had a, a smoothie. And I, I was going to film this a little bit earlier, but then a lot of a group of guys, they hang around the pool and they were talking and talking and talking, so now <laughs> I was a little bit delayed. Okay, so this is how I do in the morning. And I already put some on my body, uh, sunscreen, because it's important. And always the first days I use sunscreen with high protection. Um, after a week or so, I, I slowly go, I change to coconut oil. I'm a coconut oil person, so much a coconut oil person. So, I also have one more thing I will do here in the bathroom because when I'm flying, I always use a thin wool um, shirt on top. <coughs> and this need to be need to be washed and on this island I don't think they wash wool a lot. This is very thin and it's very comfortable on the airplanes and whatever and also if I feel I'm, I'm having a down day like I need to rest or something or I'm having the feeling of a little cold I use this thin uh, wool underwear uh, also here even if it's very hot outside because Wool is like medicine. So now I'm going to put this in the sink just to lay uh, during the day because I'm going to go out and stay at the, uh, by the beach today. So I put it here in the water and I always bring this uh, organic wool uh, liquid for washing. And I put a little bit of this, just a few drops. And also, again, I use vinegar. Vinegar is good for, for removing uh, smell. And that's what happens when you, with the wool. It's, it's really not necessary to, to clean it or, <coughs> I'm sorry, wash it. But it, when it's been worn for like 24 hours, it's okay to, it's always getting like uh, smelly from the body. So I just pour uh, a couple of teaspoons with vinegar and then I will leave this here today. And I just uh, rinse it and <coughs> put it up for to dry in the afternoon, I think. Okay, so here we go. That's my wool now with vinegar. A little bit of organic, organic liquid soap. Okay, we're going out from the bathroom. Bye. So, and how can we do this in a good way? I think I need to lengthen this. <coughs> So here you can see the area of uh, the room from my bathroom door, which is here. And this is my closet. And this is my morning kafta. Before I do anything, I put on this. I love this one. I bought this in Egypt a few years ago. And the, the bling somewhere always come off. So I leave tracks. <laughs> Uh, so everybody know it's uh, kind of if they find this they know I have been there oh anyways I love it um, inside we have a, a safe and this is my <laughs> pharmacy and my clothing and this is another another kind of uh, blanket for the bed 
when I came, there was only um, a sheet. And I said, oh, don't you have any proper duvet? And she said, oh, yes, I have everything. You can sleep with the towel. So she had her own towel for the bed. Many people only use a towel. Some people use sheets and some a small blanket. And for me, a proper duvet. And she said, oh, how can you do that? Okay, that's me. So when you keep everything, you know that people like different things. So that's the closet. And what I recognize today, I've got almost black and white. And I'm this colorful person. What happened? Okay. So that was the... The closet, or yeah, the bed, and we have the sofa area. It's so cozy, and you know the ceiling. It's so high in the ceiling, and we got these fans. And I really like this kind of style. It's kind of Balinese style, I think. You can see on the bed. You can see this these shapes. This is classical Balinese style. And the, the table, the coffee table as well. I love it. I like this so much. It's so beautiful and so home. Cozy, like we say in Norway. So and this is the sitting area. As you can see, my projects are already up. My knitting project. And there we have the outside. And also my mess on the table. We have the smoothie. Da, da, da. <laughs> I really need to work on my filming skills. But anyways, this is how it's just now. And here we have a television, a big TV screen, and we have a, a music machine, and we have a lot of movies, and we have Netflix. And this is, I rarely use this because I'm not here to watch Netflix, but anyways, some days it's just, how it is some days you just need to stay inside even if it's hangover day or if it's just to come away go away from the sun a little bit and here we have some information about the, the resort okay and it's also in here we have coffee cups and dishes and all the stuff that's here so it's really nice you don't need to bring anything everything is here and like, it's a big fridge, it's a freezer, you can have ice cubes or whatever you want to put in there. Microwave. <coughs> My remedies, coconut oil, and grains, like muesli. My vitamins. <laughs> and my fruit for my morning mix. Okay. And the kitchen area is, it's just packed. We have the smoothie maker. We have a hot water boiler. And we have a toaster inside. <coughs> and here it's full, whatever you like, whatever you need. It's, it's possible to fry some eggs or whatever you like to make food for yourself and that's that's really really nice and also she got outside she got this big 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 water tank and that's a really good service because normally they don't provide that much water normally you get like two of these bottles every day and you have to go to the 7-eleven or somewhere to buy water so that's really nice that's really, really nice. Oh, this is the sh small, small kitchen area. Uh, I bought my ginger tea. I bought my green tea. And yeah. And also I bought what I, what I usually drink. The orange juice, the yogurt, some beers <laughs> and coconut water. I always use coconut water in my smoothies. And also they have some really nice uh, vegetable uh, smoothie drinks. That's nice. Okay. 
so that's that's how the room is and let's go outside this is the area outside and here you can see the water tank this is this is really smart this is really smart and when it's empty she just buy a new one clever so as you can see the pool is quite nice i was out here swimming this morning and that's a very good day start of the day for me it's just mm, i love 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 and this sunbed is is mine and we have two chairs and a table outside and i also have like um yeah to dry my clothes when i have been wet when i have been swimming okay <coughs> i think that's all for now folks i i will be back suddenly i will be back have a nice day Ta -da.